Hey, this is Randy Headings with Breakhawk. I wanted to take some time to show you how our replacement pads work as far as changing them, um, how to inspect them, and just overall keep them safe out there on the zip line. As you can see here, we have a brake pad that has some wear. You're typically gonna get about 300 stops per brake pad. And you'll see this mesh fabric at the end of the brake pad. And once you see wear down to that fabric, it's time to change. Now you can rotate the pad around and reinstall it. Don't flip it over, but rotate it this way. Um, to change the brake pad, take your screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, take the brake, work into one corner, work your way up, and it'll pop out, pull out the brake pad, reinstall your new brake pad, Once it's flush with the back, take your screwdriver and just work your way from the front of the brake to the back of the brake, kind of back and forth until you feel it seated in place. You're going to want to do a visual inspection and make sure that it's sitting flat against this ramp and you are ready to go. We also have leather pads that are for rain conditions. When the cable's wet, you're going to want to install this. Peel up on the paper, take your brake, push it all the way to the front till it's even, and then just push down. You can take your screwdriver and just kind of push down on it. Make sure it's firmly in place. This is for wet conditions only, so once conditions dry up, just pull the pad back off and resume zipping. And that's how we replace the rubber brake pads and install the rain pads on the brake hawk. <laughs>